Hey guys, so you guys wanted to see it and I'm doing it for you. I'm showing you my tousled waves and curls for short hair. I figured why not have a first ever hair tutorial with my short hair. Um, yeah, so I absolutely hate my bangs. Cannot get them to work, cannot get them to stay or do what I want, but it's a little too late for that now, so we're just gonna have to work with them. But I absolutely love these curls. Um, my hair curls really strong it like, takes a curl compared to some other people's hair so your hair might be more tousled and beachy compared to mine and I'm so jealous because that's the look that I want but I can't get it because my curls are just like yeah we're gonna go into like little ringlets so this is what I get with my hair <laughs> but I actually really like it the curls stay really well and also they look better over time so within a day or two they're gonna actually look even more beachy and effortless and I love that. So yeah, if you guys want to stick around to see how I get my tousled curls for my short hair, then just keep on watching. Okay, so what I'm going to start off by doing is sectioning my hair. So I sort of start right in the middle of my ears, and then I just section that whole bottom part off, and then I'll just sort of clip this part away. My bangs are going to be down. <laughs> so I'll just bring this part to the front. So the curling iron that I'm using is this Brilliance New York Diamond Iron. Um, if I find it, I'll link it down below. My grandma is a hairstylist. She has a hair salon in Florida. And she sent me this. So it's a nice gift from her. So I'm going to use that. I absolutely love this wand. It heats up to... 428 degrees. I keep it at 392. I do keep it pretty high because I want to sort of hold the curl not that long and just get that nice tousled wave. So I pick up about an inch of hair and then what I do, this is going to be interesting, I hold the wand back here and I curl it twice around it and then I hold some of that hair down below don't wrap it all the way around and I hold it for about like 15 seconds and then when I let go I just pull it and that's it there's gonna be a lot of hand movements and a lot of wires and things going around so I'm taking another section of hair and then I'm going to wrap it around again just twice. My bottom pieces I wrap around twice and I like to hold it sort of on a slant. Back here it's sort of harder when I get towards the topper piece, topper pieces, towards the top pieces of hair. It'll get much easier for me to do that and I also like to make sure that I have a nice gap in between and have a nice slant on the hair so it makes sure that it's going to create that tousled wave and not that really tight curl. Don't mind my frizzies. This is just what happens all the time. And then just pull it. So once again if you see I have that nice gap in between the hair. My highlight though, look at that, yes. <laughs> My voice sounds so weird, I got sick randomly, it was literally like a 24 hour cold, and then after my throat was just like, okay, we're just gonna stay weird, but we're not gonna feel sick anymore. I don't get it. Pull it, and then lastly, just this section right here. If you have straight hair, I think it would work better with holding out the pieces of hair. My hair naturally is kind of wavy, so my ends sort of curl in or out or do their own thing, whatever they want to do. Phone! Let's not be rude. So by me holding it out, I'm trying to get that sort of curl to that straight end look, but it doesn't really work out for me. And then pull it. So I'm wrapping the hair away from my face. I'm not wrapping it towards my face. And I'm also holding the barrel sort of on a slant facing down. 
I'm not holding it straight. And then pull it. I find that, I think this is a one inch barrel. Um, I find that this one works better on my hair. I tried to use, um, I think it was a one and a half inch or two inch barrel and it did not look good. I hated my hair so much. The one and a half inch to two inch barrels are better if you have long hair, not if you have short hair. No. <laughs> oh, I have a song stuck in my head and I can't get it out. Uh, well, don't pull out hair. <laughs> so now I'm just going to fast forward the rest and I'll show you how I do my bangs and the top also. Um, yeah, so basically all you do is just wrap it around twice, leave a little gap between the hairs so it gives you that more tousled look and leave a little bit of an end out and then as you come out you just pull on it once or twice and that's it. So now let's go into fast forward. Okay, now for my bangs. Okay, now <laughs> I look really funny. For my bangs, I like to just sort of wrap it around just a little bit. I'm just trying to shape them. I'm not trying to create a curl. I'm just heating them up and it's going to create that shape to go along with my hair, my curl. And then I pick up, I just run my fingers through. And I pick up a section and then I go like this and I pull that hair over making sure to get as close to my scalp but without burning myself and that's going to create that little bit of a swoop and then what I do is I stick my finger in here and do the same thing and that gives you a little bit of volume. I know it looks crazy but trust me it works. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just that little bit of volume. Okay, 
now that my hair is totally frizzy and like insane looking, I'm going to turn my iron off and this is where I like to just start just judging it. <laughs> I just run my fingers through it. So this is the finished look of my tousled waves slash curls on my short hair. I love it so much. I hate my bangs. I just don't know what to do with them. Like I struggle so much with them, but I'm just going to have to get used to it. But I really, really like it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe I'll try to start doing some more hair tutorials. I think it's fun. It is a little bit time consuming, but it's definitely fun and different from makeup. So yeah. Let me know if you guys liked it, and if you try it, definitely tag me in pictures on Instagram with hashtag underscore, what? Hashtag Polina underscore Aliyev. I've been filming for so long. It's been a long day, and I haven't had lunch, and I'm dying of hunger. So yeah. <laughs> um, if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'd be right here, as well as down in the description box. And also there's a tutorial on this makeup, so I'll link that down below also. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! hand cramps in like this weird position. Oh my god. It just happens and it hurts so bad. Oh. This is the only way I can get it out when I hold my hand like this. <laughs>